everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name's Nadia, please subscribe if you haven't already. So today's video is actually not a sit down one, so don't get used to me being here. It's actually going to be a little fun tie dye vlog sort of thing. I've seen this trend on TikTok, I've seen things on Instagram, I've seen other people make YouTube videos about like tie dye in their clothes and I really wanted to get stuck in. So I've actually practiced tie dye before in secondary school in like DT, so I'm not new to this. Um, and I also did my year 11 lever shirt in like a cool tie dye print. I'll pop a picture up on the screen now. But um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing different patterns in this sort of video. Um, so I'm going to be doing some things that I'm obviously new to. So if you want to see how the tie dye worked out, then please stay till the end and let's go. So in my little dye kit, this is the one I'm going to be using. I've got four of these. So I've got purple, I've got pink. They look a bit left, like as if I left them over. So I don't know whether they're going to be all right, but let's hope. Um, elastic bands to tie the t-shirt or whatever we're dyeing. The yellow one and the blue one that I haven't used yet. As I was saying, in this little bag, I've got the colours of turquoise, 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 and yellow, which I haven't used yet. And we've got some gloves. So that's good because I've got some bleach that I'm going to be using. And I think that's all in the kit. It also comes with this little book and it just tells you like what designs you can do. Like there's all different types of ones, toes in instructions and stuff. So I'm going to be using this as my like floor cover art. It's just an old towel, so that's, that will be fine. Um, so where are my clothes? So the two things I'm going to be dyeing are this blue hoodie. Um, I've pulled the string out the top, I didn't like it. They're both from Fruit of the Loom and then this white plain t-shirt so the first instruction is just to dunk my two items in the water so that's what i'm going to do um it's just got to be like lukewarm and then i'm gonna rinse that out like so obviously they don't have to be drenched but this just makes the color go in a bit further so just do that Right, I'm going to fill up my bottles with this water here, it's just a lukewarm one. So I'm going to use, what colour should we use? I'm thinking, uh, don't know. With this one, it's already got like old water in it, but obviously I'm not going to empty that. It's very, like, it's very messy, so you definitely need gloves. Um, okay, it's literally fine to reuse. I'm just going to leave what's in there to make it easier. I'm not going to like fill some more water in there um just stand them up they've both got lids on them so don't worry they're not going to spill and i'm going to do the crumple technique so it's just simple what you do is literally just make it into a little bunch like so just like roughly like that and then we're going to get the bands so obviously the more water you fill in them the more they will be like lighter colors and obviously the longer you leave it the darker they'll be so i'm going to take about how many bands how many just to keep it together so we're just gonna start they're very like tight so they won't fall apart and just literally start wrapping it obviously you don't want white spots so you've got to cover it all this is what it should look like after you finish with the bands. I've just tied it quite tightly, obviously. And I'm gonna fold this over twice because I don't want it to like, I don't want the dye to go on the grass. I mean, it's fine. Just put water in it and be fine. Okay, so we're gonna open these up. Oh, oh, see, this is what I mean. Make sure you have some paper towels next to you. Yes, yeah, so just be, open, be careful when you open them. And we're just gonna go in and start spraying, so. I don't know what I'm doing right now. So what's really important, if you just go in here and start squeezing, because then it will get to the bits that are white, as you can see, like where the elastic bands are. So just make sure you fill every area that's white that you can see. Otherwise it might be a bit spacey, which is nice, but you don't want it to be too white, like for example, this. Okay, so now I've done my tie dye on my t-shirt. The towel is actually bleached, but the floor is fine. So it says to wrap it in this like grocery bag. So I'm gonna leave it in there for like four to eight hours and 
if you want the dye to be like darker you've got to leave it for longer but i want sort of like lightish colors so i'll leave it probably like four hours max and it says to store it in a warm sort of place so i'm not going to leave it in the direct sun but i'm going to put it in the shade outside so it because it's quite hot today so now i'm going to be doing my hoodie and i'm going to be using bleach for this one so it's a bit more like dangerous might stain everything so i'm going to be using the same technique to crumpled um so i'm just going to start off by this is all ringed out by the way so all the water's drained from it and just simply scrunching up all of the parts obviously it doesn't have to be even because you don't want it to be like unnatural okay so now it's all scrunched up in sort of tiny ball i'm going to use the elastic bands to just secure it this is going to be a bit more difficult because the hoodie is bigger obviously than just the t-shirt that's fine we'll just use more elastic bands Okay, so I've bunched this hoodie up in quite a lot of elastic bands to keep it sturdy. Um, these elastic bands are actually really strong. They stretch across the whole thing and don't snap. So yeah, we've got a little hoodie ball and we're gonna start. Right, so don't try this at home unless you know what you're doing, but I'm just gonna use this thick bleach. Oh, it stinks. Right, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna pull this on. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna drizzle it. As you can see, it's already working, like parts of it have gone white. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more, like a tiny bit on both sides. And then I'm gonna put it in that elastic band. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna put it in the grocery bag. So now I've got to clean up all my mess. I've got bleach everywhere. The plastic bags are wrapped with the um, tie-dye clothes. So yeah, I'm gonna tip my water out, put everything back. And then the next step after, leaving it we're gonna wash them out again in cold water and make sure there's no like remaining dye so i'm just leaving them to cook in my garden just in the shade in the plastic bag as i said okay guys so i've left the tie dyes for four hours and i'm gonna reveal what they look like wow it actually looks really good right i'm gonna do the tie dye one first the bleach one i'm gonna leave for a while because i need to dip it in the water i've just got some cold water here okay so as i said we're going to do the tie dye one first and we're going to take the elastic bands out because obviously this this has oh careful not to spray like any of the tie dye on you okay as you can see there's quite a lot of white patches but i quite like that effect because it does look more natural um so as i'm taking these out you'll see more of the tie dye so that's why i said it's important obviously to get on the insides of the t-shirt uh not completely covered i'm gonna give you a little wow it actually looks quite cool i'd definitely wear that it looks cool right so now obviously she's told us to put it in here to get rid of the excess okay guys so i've just unraveled my tie dye i'm ready to put it in the washing machine but i'm going to do both separately obviously because one's got more color than the other i don't want them mixing so far so good they've come out the way i wanted them to um i'm just going to put a small bit of detergent in the washing machine with the clothes just so that it washes any extra out and yeah i'm going to put them on the washing line tonight and i'll give you the reveal tomorrow So this is the top that I used with the tie-dye kit. So I used the colours of blue and purple. So I'll stand up and give you a little... I think it's so cute. Um, the colours were obviously like... They're not too like all over the place. There's some white bits obviously. I just paired it with these cycling shorts. I think it'd be cute if it could tie it up like that. But then again, I like it as a normal like little t-shirt. Because it's not too long. And it sits like quite nice. So overall, I am so pleased with this. It literally was so easy. Like I sprayed a few times. Put it in a bag washed it there we go my own little t-shirt and even my mum said she liked it and she is brutally honest with everything that i wear i'm literally in love look at this hoodie it's so cute i think the bleach stains have gone like perfectly in the right places like obviously it wasn't meant to be like neat or whatever but i think it looks really like professional this is the hoodie i literally think it's so cute i will definitely be wearing this like it's just like, not that I've just tied out a random hoodie. I will definitely be wearing this because it's so cosy. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I literally loved making these two pieces. So if you want to see more, then let me know down below. Um, I'll be definitely doing some more tie dyeing. If you want to see some more creative bits, then please let me know by commenting down below. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And lastly, go and follow my socials if you want to see what I'm doing in my day-to-day -day life. 
But that's all for today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.